my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. This week I went to Walmart and Natural Grocers which is kind of like our Whole Foods or Sprouts and I found some really great new food finds. I can't wait to share them with you. I'm also going to tell you what's on my meal plan for the week and what you will be seeing on Monday in my meal prep video, which I'm super excited for those three recipes. So make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single grocery haul. I do upload these every single Saturday. Also, if you love grocery hauls, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it. And make sure you're checking out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. I do offer macro and calorie calculation, which I highly recommend that you take advantage of. Kind of know where you should fall every day, calorie and macro wise. So make sure you check that out as well as my one-on-one -on -one and my group coaching. There's a little bit of something for everybody. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, as well as the link to join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep. I ended up not going to Trader Joe's just because since I was at Natural Grocers, which is kind of like our Sprouts or Whole Foods, I decided to just go ahead and grab my produce there. And it actually was more affordable than Trader Joe's, believe it or not. But I have lots of new food finds for you guys. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. So this is a new flavor of Spindrift or new to me. This is the orange mango. I decided to pick this up. I'm almost out of sparkling water and I really like Spindrift because there's no natural flavors. It's literally one real orange and two slices of mango and it's only 10 calories for the can. So it is still zero smart points. And then while I was at Walmart, I restocked the party little bites for my husband. You guys know he loves these in his lunch. I also picked up some yogurt. So I've never tried the Oikos triple zero in salted caramel. 15 grams of protein in this one. I made sure there wasn't carrageenan because someone had reached out and said that they thought that Oikos had carrageenan, but this one does not. So I actually picked up two of those. And then this is one of my very, very favorite yogurt brands. You guys know I love Siggy's and I like this 4% whole milk one. And I grabbed one of the mixed berry and then a vanilla because I like to put some fresh fruit or granola on there for a snack. For creamer this week, here's another new one to me. This is the Coffee Mate Snickers. And look how cute, it has a little pumpkin on there. So I picked this one up. I have not tried it yet, but it looks really, really good. And then I also grabbed some meat at Walmart. I found this chicken breast tenderloins on clearance for $7.06. I always like to pick up meat if it's discounted because you can't beat the price when it is on reduction. And I just pop it in my freezer. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up two pounds of 99% ground turkey. I actually need this for a recipe. And then the other one I'm just going to throw in the freezer. I always like to have meat options on hand at home so that I never have to wonder if I have meat available for a recipe. So I picked up an extra pack of that. You guys know that Happy Egg Organics are my very favorite and they only have these at Walmart. I have never seen these anywhere else where I live, so I had to pick them up. I do still have quite a few eggs left from my big Costco run last week, but we'll go through them. We eat a lot of eggs, so I picked those up. And then finally, I found the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple Sausages. They have not had these. I'm not kidding when I say months. So. I grabbed three packs because I wanted to make sure I had them. They freeze great. So I picked these up. I'm so excited. This entire link is two points. It's extremely, extremely clean ingredients. In fact, it's Whole30 approved. So if you can get your hands on these, pick these up because they are the best. And if they still have them there the next time I shop, I'm going to grab some more. And then Troy wanted ham and turkey for his lunch sandwiches. So I have a pound of deli ham and I have a pound of deli turkey. And then we're going to add some bacon and kind of make it like a club for him. This is his bread, the milk and honey this week from Franz. This bread's only three smart points a slice. So not bad at all. I'm really not into the cardboardy one point bread. So I'd rather spend a little extra and have real bread. So this is for his lunch and then toast or anything else throughout the week. I picked up the great value sliced dill pickles also for his lunch. He wanted pickles on his sandwiches and these sliced ones just make it really easy for sandwiches. 
And then I grabbed some tomato paste at Natural Grocers because I'm out and I need it for a couple of recipes. I love this one in the jar because it lasts forever in the refrigerator. No waste or anything. So I grabbed that. And then no surprise to anyone, olives for Troy. He loves olives. So I picked these big guys up at Walmart. And then at Natural Grocers, their Muir Glen Organic Tomatoes were on a killer sale, 99 cents a can. So I just grabbed them just to have them in my pantry. I picked up two cans of the Diced Fire Roasted. And then I also picked up a can of the No Salt Added Tomato Sauce. Again, just to have in my pantry because that is such a great deal for tomato products, especially Muir Glen and organic. The main reasons I went to natural grocers was for my favorite cottage cheese. I picked up three of them. Like I said, I have not had these in a while and I'm missing them. So I grabbed three, just so you guys know, this is the best cottage cheese ever. And this is whole milk, but you can have a half a cup for three smart points. A lot of you have reached out and said that you picked this up as well and love it. So that makes me happy. So I did grab three of those. That way it'll last me a while. And then my very favorite cashew milk was on sale actually for $3.99. So I picked that up. Normally I pay over $5 for this. And this is my favorite, favorite nut milk. It's so good. It's nice and clean and it just has such good creamy flavor. If you haven't seen my 14 healthiest chocolates video that went up on my second channel, Jen Clayton Nutrition, I'll link that down below. I decided to pick up a couple of the chocolates that I talked about in that video that I've never tried. So this is the Bar Nana, the super banana snack, double chunk, double chocolate, banana brittle. Now the girl when at Natural Grocers when I picked this up said it's amazing. So I'm super excited about it. It's not bad in calories. You can have a little over an ounce for 135 calories. It has super, super clean ingredients. I definitely will report back and let you guys know what I think of this. So I grabbed that. And then some beef broth or bone broth for a recipe. The bone broth was only like 40 cents more at Walmart. So I just picked it up. It's just a better quality option. And then I needed some oven ready lasagna. I'm actually making a lasagna recipe this next week. And then I picked up this value size mac and cheese. Sometimes my husband just wants some mac and cheese. So I grabbed this value size one. That way he'd have leftovers. He could eat it down the road. And this was really affordable, about $2. And then I finally found, and you guys know that I have not been able to find the pumpkin spice lilies. They were actually on an end cap, not even with the baking item. So I would have missed them again. So excited to have these. I can't wait to try them. I've heard that they're absolutely amazing. And then I picked up this big mega pack of fully cooked bacon. Again, for Troy's sandwiches, he wants to do turkey, ham, pickles on bread with lettuce and tomato and bacon. And this fully cooked just makes my life easy. What I do kind of pro tip is when I go to make his sandwich, I will nuke this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. It kind of gets it nice and crispy again, blot off any oil, and then I add it to a sandwich. And it's literally like I just cooked the bacon. So I love this fully cooked. Again, makes my life easy. I want to say this was about $10 at Walmart, which is not bad because it's 12 servings of bacon in a big resealable pouch. It's about 25 slices, which Again, not a bad price. I also grabbed some one third less fat cream cheese. This is for a recipe. And then for Troy sandwiches, cheese wise, I thought that Havarti would pair really nicely with kind of a club sandwich. So I grabbed some Havarti semi soft cheese. And then also in my video, I talked about the perfect bar peanut butter cups. And I have to try these. I have tried one flavor and it was an orange wrapper. So I've never actually tried these two. They were kind of pricey. They're about $3 a piece at Natural Grocers, but there's actually eight grams of protein in here. This is the milk chocolate. And by the way, these are refrigerated, like the perfect bar. So you'll find them in the refrigerated section, generally kind of by the yogurt or by kind of the healthy foods that are refrigerated. So I picked up the milk chocolate. And then this is the one I actually talked about in my video, the dark chocolate sea salt with seven grams of protein. So I'm excited to have those as a clean, healthy chocolate sweet treat. Also at Walmart, I grabbed kombucha. I went ahead and picked up a big jug of ginger ale only because it's much more affordable, $7. And it's actually equivalent to three bottles. And then the individual bottles are $3 a piece. So you actually get a bottle for free essentially when you buy the big bottle. So that's six bottles worth. It'll last me through the week. And then of course, while it was still there, I grabbed the living in gratitude, which is the fall edition kombucha. This one actually has apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. 
I love it so much. It's amazing. So everything else is produce. So a bag of frozen peas for a recipe, organic celery, also for a recipe and for snacking. Some organic green leaf lettuce. This is for Troy's lunch. And then whatever I don't use, I plan to chop up for salads. I did grab some organic mushrooms, also for a recipe, and three organic bell peppers. Now, I got all three of these peppers for $3, which is a great price for organic. So I was excited that it was actually less than I thought it was going to be at Natural Grocery for Produce. So that is everything, with the exception of a big case of Diet Coke and Coors Light for my husband. So now let's jump into meal plan and what you guys will be seeing, which I'm excited for, meal prep on Monday. So here is this week's meal plan. It is Halloween through November 6th. You guys, it's November. It's my birthday month, I'm excited. So Saturday, Halloween is out to dinner. I think we are going to pick up these really delicious frozen pizzas that we found at one of our local stores. I mean, they're better than restaurant frozen pizzas. So good. So I think we're gonna pick those up and kind of have a pizza night on Halloween. Sunday, I'm going to do a crock pot beef stew. You will see this video in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned for this recipe. It should be amazing and easy and delicious because it's in the crock pot. Monday is lasagna. I've been craving lasagna, so that sounds so good. And between the stew and lasagna, we should have enough leftovers for Tuesday because Tuesday is a jazzercise night, so I do not cook. Wednesday, I'm doing creamy chicken and mushrooms. This also sounds really good. And then Thursday, I'm doing a sweet potato shepherd pie. So I bought sweet potatoes last week and I wanna use them up. So I'm going to sub out regular potatoes for sweet potatoes and make a shepherd pie. And then Friday, of course, is another leftover night. That way we have a chance to eat up any leftovers from earlier in the week. And here is what you'll be seeing on Monday in my meal prep video. So for breakfast, I'm going to be making omelet in a hole, which is basically like the Cracker Barrel eggs in a basket, kind of a spin off of that. So I'm excited to try this out. I've never done this before, so it's going to be fun. And then for lunch, I'm doing a grilled pineapple chicken, kind of bringing in the last little bit of summer with the pineapple. And then for a snack, I'm making a pumpkin chocolate chip oat bar. I have some pumpkin that I picked up at Costco, so I wanted to make a pumpkin recipe. So this sounds really good. So again, you'll see all three of these recipes in my meal prep on Monday. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Grocery Haul meal plan and meal prep. I hope you guys found some some food inspiration from what I picked up for the week and some of these new exciting food finds that you can try out as well. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Again, I do grocery hauls every single Saturday. Also, make sure you're checking out that description box down below, again, for my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to all my favorite things, as well as the link to head over and join us on our community on Facebook. It's a great place to be, and we'd love, again, to have you. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in my next video.